where does my property think it's running off to? I make people happy. I am the one who can grant people joy. I trap them, make them suffer, tear them apart and drag them into despair. Fear me, I'll show you what happens when you defy God. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be looking into the one and only entertainment extraordinaire, Gil Tesoro. Gil Tesoro is a very tall and particularly suave individual who serves as the primary antagonist of One Piece film Gold. And thus I should point out right at the beginning here that he is not a canon character. And thus you should take all of the following information purely within the context of film Gold. But with that said, Tesoro is the proprietor of Gran Tesoro, an absolutely massive casino ship that sports a small city amongst it, which is acknowledged as an independent state by the world government. So while they aren't officially affiliated, the Gran Tesoro is allowed to exist for one very good reason. And that reason is money, which links very nicely to Tesoro's personal philosophy that people can only succeed in this world with money. This thought and really the entire Gran Tesoro endeavor have strong roots in Tesoro's childhood as when he was young, he absolutely loved to sing and possessed big dreams of making it in the entertainment industry. However, he was far from the lavish character that would be presented in modern day, being born in quite a poor environment and eventually needing to turn to crime simply to make a living. Although a young Tesoro would come to change his early ways due to meeting a girl named Stella. Now Stella was a slave who was taken as winnings after her father was defeated in a miscellaneous gambling match. Match, and so was kept in a human shop. She also happened to despise crime and so that put Tesoro on the straight and narrow, who began working hard in order to earn enough money to one day buy and free Stella. But as is often the case in One Piece, tragedy would strike one day when Stella was purchased by a world noble before Tesoro was able to achieve the funds necessary to liberate the love of his life, leading him to attack the world noble and subsequently become enslaved himself as punishment for his actions. Both Tesoro and Stella were taken to the Holy Land of Marijuana and abused by their new masters for two years before Stella would come to pass away. Meanwhile, Tesoro would continue to be abused and mocked by his master for a further five years, at which point he managed to escape during Fisher Tiger's assault on Marijua. Enraged by his experiences and spurned by his failure to prevent Stella's death, Tesoro came to the conclusion that none of this would have happened if he'd simply had the money to buy her in the first place. And so he returned to the world of crime, but he was no longer a desperate criminal struggling to survive. Instead, Tesoro had evolved into a sadistic power hungry figure who had even begun to develop a God complex, desiring control of everyone and everything. As part of his ambition, Tesoro actively sought out a crew to perform his bidding, as well as a powerful ability for himself that would come in the form of the Goro Goro no Mi, a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to manipulate gold, something that would become absurdly powerful as Tesoro continued to acquire more and more wealth from his expanding criminal activities. And interestingly, it should be noted that Tesoro acquired this double fruit from another infamous underworld figure by the name of Dolph Lamingo, who put the fruit up for auction, but never actually intended to sell it. Not that Tesoro cared much anyway, as he sent a squad of criminals to steal the fruit, greatly angering Dolph Lamingo, who spent the next few years trying and failing to kill Tesoro before finally deciding that Tesoro would be quite a useful business partner. And through this connection, Tesoro was even able to gain contacts within the world government itself. And here it would not be long before the future Casino King's dream was realized with the opening of Grand Tesoro. However, craving more power and control, Tesoro was not going to stop there as his ultimate ambition then became to acquire more wealth than any individual on the planet and eventually force even the world nobles to submit to him. In essence, going full God complex. And in order to achieve this, he developed a very simple business model on his floating casino, which was to drive its visitors into crippling debt and force them to work for more or less the rest of their lives to pay it off. Cue the straw hats arriving on his casino island ship and Tesoro welcomed them with open arms. Although after Tesoro challenged Luffy to a game and dare I say cheated to win, the straw hats attempted to retaliate, which resulted in the capture of Rora Norizoro and Tesoro threatening to execute him should the straw hats not repay their debt in time. And look what follows is the fantastic heist movie that is One Piece film gold with the straw hats infiltrating Grand Tesoro with the ultimate goal in mind of freeing everyone from Tesoro's control and going on to do so rather successfully actually, causing Tesoro to have a fit of rage and attempting to regain control of the situation by summoning massive waves of gold to encase everyone in before encasing himself in some sort of golden mech controlled by his devil fruit abilities and thus taking on his final form. Tesoro would then face off directly against Luffy and would prove superior to the Straw Hat Captain's efforts. Well, that is prior to Luffy's activation of Gear Fourth. From here, the momentum of the fight swung heavily in Luffy's favor and Tesoro would go on to be defeated by Luffy's Leo Rex Bazooka, sending him flying onto a marine ship where he was promptly arrested. However, it should be noted that Tesoro's final thoughts were revealed to the audience prior to the moment of his defeat and those thoughts were of his lost love, Stella. Some more fun facts about Guild Tesoro. As a former slave of the world nobles, Tesoro received the appropriate branding. However, after escaping from their clutches, Tesoro went on to modify this mark into a star, signaling the beginning of his ascendance to becoming the Casino King. 
The Tesoro portion of Guild Tesoro's name is taken directly from both the Italian and the Spanish word for treasure, adding further evidence to the long running theory that Spanish and Italian are in fact the same language. In the modern day, Tesoro is also rather fond of saying the phrase, I decide who laughs, which just so happens to be the words of the world noble who purchased Stella. At the height of his fortune, Tesoro's money accounted for an inconceivable 20% of all currency circulated around the world. Furthermore, Tesoro, despite not being canon, serves as one of the rare characters within the entirety of the series and its extended media, who is an awakened Paramecia user, and at the time of Film Gold's release, he was only the second confirmed awakened Paramecia in existence. And finally, a truly useless fact. Through all of this, Tesoro never lost his love for the art of singing, and as such, he performed regular concerts for the citizens of Grand Tesoro. Ah, oh, how lovely. But that pretty much does it for Guild Tesoro. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, but apply to other anime and manga series, then please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece, One no one. Now, if you've had the pleasure of viewing One Piece Film Gold, you'll know that Tesoro also happens to be the only movie villain who's, for whatever reason, ass we've seen on screen. In fact, he may be the only villain in One Piece who's ass we've seen in general. I mean, do let me know if you can think of any others, but at the same time, uh, yeah. For now, let's all take a moment to think of the animator who had to spend a good chunk of their lives staring into the rear of Tesoro.